I told you about my Sanyas friend that tried to hang himself in Pune, didn't I? Some days ago, he was sitting in Buddha Hall one day and he looked around and he said, my God, what am I doing my whole life? What has it led to? Just a waste of time. I've been doing this, I've been doing that. And here I'm sitting, what have I got out of it? My, my pockets are still empty. Can you follow it? don't want you to commit suicide. I just want you to dare to see that in yourself. I took this high education. Did this or did that too. And here I am. I'm still empty. So he decided, finish. Why go on? So he bought a rope and was going to hang himself out of the window in popular heights in Pune. And he really bought the rope. I know him very well. When he was in, on his way to do it, he was reminded of his father also committing suicide. And it stopped him in the track. And he lay down on his bed and looked up at the ceiling for two or three days. And then he woke up because his mind stopped. He could not commit suicide. His father did that and what the hell did he get out of it? He could not go on living this stupid life. He was just here. And then it came. And I know exactly how when he says it came. How it is. It, it comes creeping in on you from everywhere. And the separation vanish. And you just become that space of contentment. Whatever arises in it doesn't matter. Because it all comes and goes. You always this space of contentment. So he became a guru also. We called him the biker guru. Because he was always driving a big motorbike, 1500cc or something like that. And he was always giving satsang with the beer <laughs> to take away any misunderstandings. That you can only give satsang if you drink something sadvik. Cut through all these small teachings.